Breaking news now. We have obtained a new whistleblower complaint from a woman in Wayne County, Michigan. It lays out in detail what appears to be outright illegality that took place inside the TCF Center in downtown Detroit. The sworn affidavit signed by IT worker Melissa Carone exposes how ballots were scanned and counted, in some cases multiple times, how Republicans were pushed aside, cut out of the oversight process to which they are entitled, and even details of how ballots were illegally altered by other election workers. Part of her affidavit reads, quote, I witnessed countless workers rescanning the batches without discarding them first, which resulted in ballots being, ballots being counted four to five times. Joining us tonight with much more is the author of that sworn affidavit, Melissa Carone. She was contracted by Dominion Voting Services to offer technical support while votes were being counted in Detroit. David Coleman, who is Melissa's attorney, joins us here this evening. We welcome you both. Uh, and Melissa, I want to just say, first of all, uh, my compliments to you for having the courage to step forward uh, and to say exactly what you saw uh, and to uh, and to defend the integrity of our electoral process. And, uh, and I want you to know I'm deeply grateful and I'm sure all Americans are deeply grateful to you. Uh, let me start with the the most egregious part of what I read in uh, your of your affidavit multiple counts of the same ballots. How did that happen? So the workers are handed uh, ballots in stacks of 50s. Um, they are referred to as batches, and they run mm -hmm. them through the tabulators. When the ballot has any kind of a mark on it, it'll stop. The, the tabulator will stop completely and the computer will put up an error and it'll say, you know, uh, ballot number 25 has an error. And right. so the right. process would be to take ballot number 25 as well as all of the other ballots that had already went through the tabulator off, put right. them back in a pile, put ballot number 25 on top of the stack discard the whole batch and rescan it and that's and instead they went through that process several times uh, and, the and describe the night shift chaos that you described uh, food uh, food vans apparently showing up but not with food but with uh, ballots uh, apparently uh, give us a sense of what happened there so there, um, so I worked a 24-hour shift. Um, I started at 6 a.m. and I got right. off at 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. Uh, the next day. Um, so I started at 6 a.m. November 3rd, got off at 6 a.m. November 4th. So I was there during their day shift and their night shift. Um, the city provides the workers with food for their shift. Well, they only had enough food for right. one third of their workers. Oh so that is the reason why they were claiming that these vans were were brought in. But these vans did not have food it, it, the, taken out of them. And the vans, the vans that showed up, uh, they were supposed to be filled with food. What did what did they have in them? Do you know? I never saw anything being brought out of the vans. I know that whatever was being brought out of the vans was being brought out of the back of the vans, but um, I was not allowed over in that area at all. But the vans were definitely not big enough to be carrying enough food for two thirds of those workers. Well, it, it's all very suspicious. Uh, it is very clear that you have witnessed a highly irregular uh, activities uh, in that counting session. And David, I want to turn to you. Uh, how well protected is uh, is Melissa uh, as a contractor for Dominion voting, uh, the voting systems uh, and your and your role here? 
Well, I'm the uh, lead attorney with Great Lakes Justice Center. We filed the complaint on behalf of two voters and residents of Wayne County. Melissa is one of our witnesses who provided an uh, affidavit, as well as many other people. We have affidavits from another whistleblower, <clears throat> Jesse Jacob, who is uh, an employee of the city of Detroit, right. worked in the ele election department. She delineates all kinds of uh, fraud and problems she saw. And then also uh, uh, an attorney, Zachary Larson, who's a former Michigan assistant attorney general, worked under both Republican and Democrat administrations. And he saw many acts that were uh, incredibly uh, concerning to him. We got an affidavit just this afternoon, Lou, from Ruth Johnson, who is our former Secretary of State, who just uh, left that position two years ago. And she reviewed our complaint and all the affidavits, and she recommended to the court, we had a hearing today at 3 o'clock, and she recommended to the court that the court intervene and take action to order an audit. Michigan now has a new constitutional provision that allows voters to request the results-oriented audit to ensure the accuracy and integrity of elections. So we're asking the court, and we did it today, we had about a two hour hearing. The judge is gonna rule at noon on Friday as to whether or not uh, an injunction will issue to stop the certification of the votes, and then whether or not there will be a uh, audit ordered, as well as a protective order to protect uh, evidence so it's not destroyed. So that's what we asked for today. And uh, Melissa's been very brave to come out with her affidavit as well as the others. You can go to our website, greatlakesjc.org, and you can see the complaint and all the affidavits and read it all for yourself. Right. Great. Super. David, thank you very much. Melissa, as we go, uh, I, I want to give you the, uh, the, the last word. You work for Dominion. Uh, did you complain to Dominion about what you were seeing and what was their response? We have just about a minute. I absolutely did. Um, I uh, confronted my boss and he told me that he doesn't want to hear it. He didn't want to hear it. He said, it is not our job to be running their election. We are here to assist with IT. Melissa Caron, again, our thanks for stepping forward. David Coleman, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you both joining us tonight to shed further light on what was going on uh, in, in this country on election night and a bit of what before and after looked like as well. Thanks so much. Up next here, the national left-wing media is spreading lies about another courageous whistleblower who exposed fraud, possible voter fraud in Pennsylvania. We take that up as well as the fight for the White House, attorney for Trump co-chair Harmeet Dillon, and order my book, The Trump Century, LewDobbShop.com. That's LewDobbShop.com. We're coming right back with more on the battle for the White House. Stay with us. We'll be right back.